And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. We saw that heavy rainfall late last night roll across the viewing area, especially our northwestern portion of the viewing area. Since then, we've dried out nicely, but We've been seeing a lot of that spitting light mist throughout the viewing area. So light is it at this point that we're not even picking it up on our Precision 18 radar. Now, we saw the heaviest rainfall just southwest of Hanging Corner in southeastern Jasper County. We saw as much as 3.65 inches of rainfall in that southeastern quarter of the county. Other portions of the region seeing as much as 2 to 3 inches of rainfall. This is additional rainfall on top of what they've already seen over the last month, month and a quarter, and since June 1st, some parts of Jasper County have already caught as much as 25 inches of rainfall. And that's why the National Weather Service still has a flash flood warning in effect for Benton, Newton, and Jasper counties. That's until 7 p.m. later on this evening. Notice all the haze in the air, all that moisture still sticking around the region at this point. Visibility down to around 5 miles because of that high humidity. All that moisture, 90% humidity at this point. 66 degrees in Lafayette. And because that round of low pressure moved off to the northeast of us, winds are back moving in from the west-northwest 5 miles per hour. It's the cloud cover that moisture as well as those northwesterly winds keeping temperatures nearly 20 degrees below average today than this time of the year normalizes which is around 85 degrees that's where we should be we're likely not reaching the mid 80s until at least later on this weekend up until that point we stay below average and see another few chances of rainfall ahead as well check out your precision future cast through tomorrow morning notice a couple light showers popping up to our south an inbound warm front that should bring chances of inclement weather as early as late saturday early sunday We'll be generating some pop-up showers and storms across the far southern half of the state. Some of those showers and storms may actually make their way up into our far southern portion of the viewing area by tomorrow afternoon. 59 degrees your overnight low temperature. We'll see some scattered cloud cover briefly drying out during the overnight hours as winds continue to move in from the north northeast around 0 to 5 miles per hour. Temperatures remain relatively stable because of all that moisture throughout the region. So back to your future cast here. You can see a few of those light showers and storms to our south. Maybe a couple sprinkles across the far southern portion of the viewing area though. We should remain dry throughout the day on Friday. It's Saturday. That brings our next real chance of rainfall. You can see that round of low pressure, the warm front off to our southwest lining up to the west of us by Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon. That warm front will have made its way into our region, boosting temperatures and yes, bringing an additional chance of rainfall as early as Saturday afternoon or evening. As for as far as tomorrow goes, warming up a little bit, the excess uh, or I should say the less amount of moisture in the region, maybe a little few peaks of sun here and there helping to drive temperatures up to 78 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. The inbound warm front bringing the rain Rain chances as early as Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening could drive temperatures back up to 85 degrees that day. 87 your high temperature on Sunday. In fact, Jeff, Gina, Rob, there could be chances of severe weather Saturday evening, Sunday afternoon, Monday afternoon, even Tuesday. Now that warm front's going to make for a very unstable air mass. So we're going to have high humidity and high heat generating pop-up showers and storms, some of which could generate some hail, some gusty winds. The best chance for severe weather looks to be about Tuesday afternoon when a cold front will sweep across the region interacting with that warm, muggy air mass. Well, it looks like everybody will try to mow on Saturday. Saturday morning. I think it's right? probably a good idea, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, yeah. Kim.